the realm of tennis, where triumph and heartache dance on the court, one name has captured the world's attention, Laura Robson. From her prodigious beginnings as a young phenom to the overwhelming challenges that threatened to extinguish her career, her journey is a tale of triumph. With relentless determination and an indomitable spirit, Robson's story reminds us that even amidst the darkest storms, there lies a flicker of hope ready to ignite a glorious comeback. British tennis prodigy Laura Robson dazzled the tennis world with her exceptional talent. She burst onto the scene at just 14 years old by clinching the coveted Junior Wimbledon title, captivating fans and experts alike. This triumph marked the beginning of her illustrious junior career, where she also made waves by reaching the finals of the girls' singles tournament at the Australian Open not once, but twice, in 2009 and 2010. In November 2008, Robson celebrated her first victory on the competitive ITF women's circuit, solidifying her status as a rising star in the tennis realm. While her professional playing days have ended, her remarkable journey continues to inspire aspiring athletes around the globe. Born on January 21, 1994 in Melbourne, Laura Robson is the third child of Australian parents Andrew and Kathy Robson. Her father Andrew works as an oil executive for Shell, while her mother Kathy is a sports coach and former professional basketball player. At the age of 18 months, Robson's family relocated from Melbourne to Singapore, where she attended Tanglin Trust School. Eventually, when she turned six, they moved again, this time to the United Kingdom. Robson's passion for tennis ignited from a young age. According to her parents, she started playing tennis as soon as she could hold a racket. Recognizing her potential, they enrolled her in a junior tennis academy at the tender age of seven. By 10 years old, she had already signed with the management company Octagon, followed by a sponsorship deal with Adidas at age 11. Additionally, Wilson Sporting Goods signed her for a racket deal. Throughout her tennis journey, Robson has worked with various coaches including Carl Mays, the head of the Lawn Tennis Association. However, in 2007, she chose Martin Bach as her coach. Despite struggling to control her emotions on the court, Bach immediately recognized her immense potential. Robson began training at the National Tennis Center under the guidance of Bach, Mays, and Nigel Sears, the head of women's tennis at the center. She managed to balance her training with home-based schooling. Laura Robson burst onto the tennis scene in 2008, captivating audiences with her extraordinary talent and potential. As a young British prospect, she ignited the hopes of tennis fans nationwide. At the tender age of 14, she made history by becoming the first British player to claim the junior Wimbledon title since Annabel Croft's triumph in 1984. It was an inspiring achievement that showcased her precocious abilities. The same year, Robson solidified her rise by triumphing at the 10K event in Sunderland, securing her first ITF title on home soil. This early success marked the beginning of what promised to be a remarkable career. In 2010, Robson joined forces with the esteemed Andy Murray, the British number one and then world number four to represent Great Britain at the prestigious Hopman Cup. Together, they formed a dynamic duo that captivated the tennis world. Their journey took them to the final, thrilling spectators with their formidable mixed doubles performances. However, despite a nail-biting clash against Spain's Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez and Tommy Robredo, they finished as runners-up, leaving the audience in shock at their incredible teamwork and skill. Two years later, Robson established herself as a prominent figure in the world of women's tennis. She made her mark on the WTA Tour, reaching her first WTA final at the Guangzhou Open and narrowly missing out on victory. Her impressive season propelled her to the fringes of the world's top 50 showcasing her determination and hunger for success. The US Open in the same year saw Robson achieve another milestone, 
she became the first female British player in 14 years to progress to the fourth round of a Grand Slam. Her outstanding performances against top-ranked players including Kim Clisters and Lee Na left spectators in a state of surprise with her undeniable talent. Robson Star was rising and her accomplishments on the international stage were undeniable. Robson's dedication to her country extended beyond the Olympics. She made her debut for Great Britain in the prestigious Fed Cup, becoming color holder number 291. Alongside Heather Watson, she led the team to qualify for the World Group 2 promotion playoffs, showcasing her leadership and commitment to her nation. In her Fed Cup career, she boasted an impressive record, winning 13 out of the 16 rubbers she played, further solidifying her reputation as a true asset to the British team. Her breakout season on tour culminated in Robson being awarded the prestigious WTA Newcomer of the Year, a well-deserved recognition of her outstanding performances. In 2013, she reached career-best milestone at the Australian Open and Wimbledon, advancing to the third and fourth rounds respectively. These remarkable achievements propelled her to a career-high ranking of world number 27, solidifying her status as a force to be reckoned with in the tennis world. However, towards the end of 2013, Robson encountered a formidable obstacle in the form of a wrist injury which plagued her for the next two seasons. This setback forced her to miss significant portions of the 2014 and 2015 campaigns, challenging her resilience and determination. Yet despite the continuous struggles with injuries and the time spent away from the tour, Robson displayed unwavering strength and perseverance. In 2017, she experienced a glimmer of triumph, capturing the most significant singles title of her career at the ITF 60K tournament in Kurume. Overcoming adversity, she defeated Katie Bolter in a thrilling final, reminding the world of her exceptional abilities and resilience. However, throughout the latter stages of her career, Robson faced multiple hip surgeries that sidelined her for extended periods. Ultimately, at the age of 28, she made the difficult decision to retire from professional tennis in 2022, concluding a chapter filled with both extraordinary achievements and unforeseen challenges. Laura Robson, the enigmatic tennis star, has maintained a veil of secrecy around her romantic life. Despite whispers of a romance with fellow tennis player Milos Ronic in 2017, both parties vehemently refuted these claims. While Robson asserts her single status, her ardent fans remain ever vigilant, eagerly anticipating any signs of a blossoming relationship that may eventually emerge from the shadows. As we conclude today's video, we invite you to reflect on your thoughts about its content. We value your opinion and encourage you to share your views in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching today's video, we kindly ask for a thumbs up. Additionally, we kindly request that you consider subscribing to our channel, sharing this video with your loved ones, and clicking the bell icon to receive notifications for future uploads. We look forward to presenting you with more captivating content in our upcoming videos. Stay tuned and take care until next time!